again, boys and girls. My name's Miss Jessica with the Maury Luchin's Memorial Library, and I'm here to review some fun books and interesting books. So this first book is called A Chicken Followed Me Home by Robin Page, which is about a Rhode Island Red. And then after I'm going to read Wally Does Not Want a Haircut by Amanda Driscoll. So it's about um, a sheep that needs to get his hair sheared. All right. So I will start with this one. A chicken followed me home. What do I do now? What will my chicken eat? What do you think the chicken will eat? Chickens in the wild eat seeds, nuts, fruit, insects, and small animals. A domesticated chicken usually eats chicken feed, a mixture of seeds and grains. What kind of chicken is it? So there's all types of chickens. There's the naked neck. There's the rose comb bantam. There's Plymouth Rock. There's the buff cochin, the modern game. There's more than that. There's hundreds of them, but those are some. And there's the Rhode Island red. Your chicken looks like a Rhode Island red, a bird first bred for its egg laying ability. They're good tempered and hardy birds, which makes them a great choice for the backyard. So they're usually um, nice birds who lay good eggs, which is important. Will my chicken fly away? Most chickens can fly for a short distance, perhaps up to the branches of a tree or over a low fence. But if you feed your chicken and give her a safe place to sleep, she probably won't fly away. Is my chicken a hen or a rooster? Your chicken is a hen, a female. A hen has many of the same parts as a rooster, but her comb, tail, and waddles are often smaller. And this is a rooster. A rooster, a male chicken, is usually larger and more colorful than a hen. How do I keep my chicken safe? So there's other animals that tend to like to eat chickens or scare chickens. For a chicken, danger can come from any direction. During the day, your chicken will stay alert and run to safety if a predator threatens. So we'll try to run away if something scares her. What does a chicken coop look like? So. What do you think a coop is? Well, let's find out. Coops come in all shapes and sizes. Most contain nesting boxes filled with wood shavings or straw. Chickens also need a perch, a, a place to sleep, or roost. The perch may be made from a branch, wooden, dobble, or ladder. So a chicken coop is where they stay, um, a, a nice place to relax. Um, and it's also often a place where they lay their eggs. Will my chicken lay eggs? Yes, a young Rhode Island Red is a good layer, producing five or six a week, up to 300 eggs a year. Whoa, it's a lot of eggs, huh? In a year, an average hen lays about 260 eggs. Around the world, chickens lay more than three and a half billion eggs every day. That's crazy. What if I want baby chickens? Then you'll need to get a rooster. A hen will lay eggs even without the help of a rooster, but those eggs won't hatch. For an egg to become a chick, it must be fertilized. What happens next? Over a week or two, your hen will probably lay eight to 12 eggs, a clutch. Then she'll take a break from laying and begin to incubate her eggs, sitting on them to keep them nice and warm. This is called going broody. During this time, she'll rarely leave her nest. How long does it take an egg to become a chick? Any good guesses? I'd really like to know. I don't know. If a fertilized egg is kept warm and turned regularly, a chick will hatch in about 21 days. 
how will the chicks get out of their eggs? A special egg tooth on the chick's beak helps it chip its way out of the egg. This is hard work and it takes the chick hours to, to emerge. Who will take care of the chicks? For the first few weeks, the mother hen keeps her chicks in warm and protects them from danger. She leads them to food by clucking. Chicks eat the same food as their mother. Look how cute they are, they're so fuzzy. How long before the chick grows up? Chicks grow up fast. When they are just six weeks old, they will look a lot like their parents. A young female or pullet can lay eggs at around five months of age. A young male is called a cockerel. After a year, the chicks will be fully grown. Oh, look, they're like mini mommies. They're cute. Now, what do I do with all these chickens? Maybe they'll follow. someone else home. The end. All right, so that was a pretty good book. It gives you a lot of information about Rhode Island Reds. And this next one shows us a little bit of information, but in a sillier way. It's called Wally Does Not Want a Haircut by Amanda Driscoll. Wally did not need a haircut. His hair was perfectly fine. Sure, it tripped him up a tad, gathered a bit of greenery, and made hoedowns a little hazardous. What if some things you see in his, on him, stuck in him? I see a chick stuck in him, some leaves. Some different, oh, let's go up here. There's a squirrel stuck in him. And Wally did miss hugging his mama. Still, Wally did not need a haircut. Nobody could make him get one. He looks super grumpy. I know some kids who don't like to get their hair cut either. High time for a haircut, Wally, said mama. The scissors went, swicka, swicka. Wally winced. The shears went bzz, 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 bzz. Wally wiggled. Now hold real still. Wally went haywire. Well, in real life, the mommies do not, the mommy sheep do not do that to their own, um, their own little loved ones. I see you hiding, Wally, said Mama. Don't worry, little lamb. Haircuts don't hurt. Watch me, she said. Soon, Mama's hair looked ooh-la-la. -la. So, Mama looked so nice. Check this out, Wally, said Sheepdog. Soon, Sheepdog sported a stylish new do. So, the Sheepdog was very hairy before, too. And he got a haircut, too. Before long, all the animals joined in. Shears, zippity-zip-zip. -zip. Scissors snippity snip snipped, goats got top knots, bulls wore braids, and horses rocked mohawks. Wally watched wearily. So everyone was getting cool haircuts, but Wally just wanted to keep his keep his due. Cows got curls, donkeys doned updos, and a yak sported spikes. Even the pigs wore wigs. Let's party, hollered the animals. Everyone danced the haircut hoedown. Everyone except Wally. Mama appeared at Wally's side. I love to dance with my favorite partner, she said. Wally grinned and tried to move, but his hair was tangled in the way. He squirmed, he shimmied, he stretched. I'm stuck! Don't panic, said Mama. We'll get you out. All the animals helped. They used horsepower, a battering ram, and dog determination. But Wally's hair held.
been Wally spied the scissors. He had no other choice. Uh, Mama, will you come out here? Wally said sheepishly. With pleasure, said Mama. Wally took a deep breath. Mama snipped. It didn't hurt. She snipped some more. Not mad, said Wally. Snip, snip, snippity, snip, snip, snipper, snipper, snipper. I'm free, said Wally, dancing the trimmed up two step. Wally twirled without tripping, glided without gathering greenery, and became the hero of the hoedown. Then he did the one thing he had missed the most. Wally hugged his mama. All right. So there is a lot of reasons why um, sheep need to be shorn. Um, but they will let you know more information about that. All right. Thank you for coming and, in, and um, listening to me tell some stories.